Hey guys, Michael Barnes here with Valleyway Kennels. Getting in the house today, getting ready to do the next video on the training Tula series. Um, and this was probably going to be one of the most important. Um, and then what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be testing Tula uh, for her DNA and getting her genetic testing done. Uh, this can be extremely confusing for a lot of people that really don't understand it, uh, but it's so important uh, to really get your dog tested and I want to help you guys understand exactly what to do. <clears throat> Alright, so to start out with, um, you can get on the Boykin Spaniel Society's website. They have a checklist, of so it's an inherited disease checklist that you'll have done, um, and you'll be able to do this on all your, on your dog. Uh, it's really important, and this is what we do for all of our dogs before we ever breed them. Um, but for the first one, uh, the DNA test, uh, this test it can be done at any age, and you can do, perform this before they're even a year old. So we're going to go ahead and knock this out on Tula. She's eight and a half, eight and a half months old right now, um, so we're just going to go ahead and get it done. <coughs> the test that we'll be doing, uh, it's going to be testing for her DM, EIC, and CEA. Um, and the way that this works, and with breeding, you can have a dog that can be a carrier. Um, there's nothing wrong with it being a carrier. It's not saying it will ever have a problem. Um, it just says that in their blood and in their, in their DNA, it has that trait. Um, now, if you have a dog that's infected, well, then that dog could probably have a problem further on down the road. Now, when it comes to breeding, so if you want to breed your carrier, okay, you have to breed it to a dog that is clear. Um, what that means is that out of that litter, 50% of that, that litter will be carrier or clear. Um, it doesn't mean that the dog is going to have anything wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with breeding a carrier to a clear. However, you never want to breed a carrier to a carrier. What that will happen is, in that next litter, you have the possibility of having some dogs that can be affected by any of these traits, and we do not want that. Um, so this can be quite confusing. Boykin Spaniel Society's website has got this checklist, and it'll be able to help you. Um, it's really easy. Um, but what we'll do, to have this test done, you can do this by yourself. Um, you'll go on our website, it's called Paw Print Genetics. It is super easy to work. What, it, what you'll do, you can get on Google, a lot of times they'll have seasonal promotional codes. This one right here, I think I uh, got a 40% discount code. It's about a $250 test. Uh, what you'll do is you'll get on, the, on pawprintgenetics.com, uh, type in your breed, you'll re use your dog's registration number through Boykin Spaniel Society or UKC. Um, and then what they'll do is they'll send you this little envelope. They've got three little swabs in it, and then another pre, uh, a pre-wrapped package. So you can just stick it back in the mail and send it back to them. So what we'll do is we'll take these swabs out. It's got a nice little instruction booklet too in here. Kind of keep you understanding. What you'll do is we'll take these three swabs, take them out, take your dog. What we're going to do is we're going to take two of them. We're going to swab all three of these in her mouth for about 30 seconds each. All right, we're going to reinstall them back in the package, get them back in the bag, and stick them back in our envelope. The form has also got a little signature line where you write your name, your signature, uh, and the date that you did the test. Um, and this, make sure you verify that all the information is correct on your dog so you get an accurate reading and it goes to the correct dog. <coughs> Once you send this back to Paw Prince, uh, a couple weeks later you'll have your test back. Um, and you can use this, you can, you can put this on your dog's pedigree, you can put it wherever you go. Um, it'll make it a lot easier whenever you try to breed your dog. Um, and this is something I say before you ever look into buying a puppy is ask him about their genetic test and make sure that they're doing healthy breeding. I know this can be extremely confusing for a lot of people. If you have any more questions, email me at mbarnes at boykinspanotraining.com.